Davey, 2 0 victory at home to Motherwell. I deserve three points. Yeah, I think so. Even in 11 v 11, I felt we created the better chances. I think it was it Stephen Kelly that had one a wee cut back in the first half. Uh, there's three or four players walking it, I think. Aye, so I thought we created the better chances in the first half. 11 v 11, I thought we were well worth our money. We've, we've done a lot of work on the game this week. We do a lot of work every week, it sounds if we don't do work, but. There was a lot of information on the detail going into the game today and I thought we got it bang on. The boys carried out the instructions bang on. 11 v 11, I thought we just shaded it. It wasn't a lot in the game, but we shaded it. But look at the form that Motherwell were on. I know they played the old firm twice, but if you look at the form they were on. Um, brought Dan McKay in. I thought he was brilliant. I thought he was really, really good today. He's been really, really patient waiting on his opportunity. But again, Jamie's been keeping them out of the team and Jamie's been playing fairly well, but I felt we needed just that raw pace in the wide areas today. Done a wee bit of work during the week with Dan in terms of trying to get him to attack from central areas on the opposite side of the ball. And then we get our just rewards. We Brucey links up. Again, I thought, I'll be honest, I thought that was one of the best games we Brucey's played. I thought his link up was terrific today. Really brought us into the game. Worked extremely hard within the game. And Dan, Dan takes that big touch, you're never catching him. I've, I've not seen it, but I think we Lennon's caught him. We go out to 10, get in at half time, we speak to the lads. I felt Motherwell were a wee bit deeper than I thought they were going to be. They probably sat in their 18-yard box and gave us easy possession once we got by the bear, the striker. And the information was the space is going to be in the wide areas, and I think you've seen that for the, was it the first goal. Dan McKay, big aggressive touch, bang, right into that area where you scored goals from and wee Brucey makes that run as wee Brucey does. So I think it was a fantastic first goal. And then I think we get the pen. Was the pen from the wide area as well? Pen was coming in. Aye, coming it's in from the left hand side. side. So, yeah. Nah, I thought it was decent. And then even the one that we don't get, well, we get, then it gets taken away. We hold it again um, in that wide area. So do you know what? I thought the boys were good value. Managed the game, we could manage the game a little bit better at times, but really, really happy with the players. Really, really happy that he managed to keep a clean sheet. Because, I, I, again, would you rather win it 2-1 or 1-0 or 2-0? I, I want the clean sheet personally. I want to win the game first and foremost, but I want that clean sheet. Um, so it gives us a wee bit of opportunity. I think that somebody had said in the media, that's us up to sixth. Um, St Johnson got a big game tomorrow, so it opens up a wee bit of a gap potentially if... Um, they fail to pick points up. Um, so again, at this stage of the season, it's just looking after yourself, but you've always got one eye on who's down there, who's got points, who, how many points teams are behind you. But I thought, I thought in overall play, I think, I think even with 11 v 11, we probably just shaded it. On the penalties, we broke the hoodoo last week that had been coming for a long time, and Sean Kelly dispatched again today. Uh, you take credit again for. I, I for reversing out, it again? I actually stayed out with Sean yesterday. So, we've got, do you know the free kick nets you hook on the post and you've got the corner on the bar, corner on the bar, corner at the bottom, corner at the bottom. I was saying to Sean, because all last week he said, no, that's my poor keeper, keeper. I'm, I'm not sure, Sean, I'm not sure. I don't like that for a lefty, because I'm a lefty. I think you generate more power when you hit the, the opposite side net. You've got more of a goal to hit as well, and if you hit, you, if you connect with it properly, it's a good chance you're scoring. So yesterday we done it. Yesterday we done it. I was I was actually hitting a few pens, um, but I thought he dispatched it very well. And I wasn't sure he was going to go to the keeper's left, but Liam, I think, was thinking he knows Sean, and Sean's preferred spot for the penalty as the keeper's right hand side. So yesterday, I think, probably gave him a wee bit of confidence in terms of. He had a lot of success yesterday, putting in the areas you put in, and it was a, a decent penalty, I felt, so really happy for him. And then <laughs> I was shouting on it, the so-called second penalty, like, you can change it if you want, like, change it. <laughs> I said to him in there, were you worried, were you worried about it? He said, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So, um, nah, I'm, I'm really happy for him, that's two pens in two weeks. He's probably been thrown into a 90 minutes, just looking at Sean, isolating Sean, he's been probably shooting I played 90 minutes today, um, but I knew with the international break it gave me a wee bit of leeway there to try and get the 90 minutes into Sean, but I was going to see how the game went. 
Um, but I thought all over the park there was some big performances today and the boys should take should credit for that. I say one of them when you touched on it earlier on, Damakai obviously came into the team um, really direct. I say those kind of out and runs caused a lot of kind of trouble and this kind of direct running his pace made it a really difficult afternoon for the full back. Yeah, I thought he equipped himself fairly well at Ibrox, you know, when he got his first start. I thought he'd done really well at Ibrox and spoke to him, spoke to Neely and his staff and we just felt with that balance, we needed a wee bit more from the right-hand side in terms of the offensive side of the game. And Dan, he's, honestly, he's, he's extremely quick, but he's actually really, really quick and powerful over that first 10 metres. And once he gets going, you're never catching him. He's probably we Lennon found out today. But really, really helped. He's played a huge part in the sending off, which then plays a huge part in the game and obviously gets the assist for the first goal. He did his defensive duty well as well, though. Just a couple of minutes later, Motherwell, after the first goal, sorry, Motherwell break up and he's a man to clear at the back post. Aye, so I didn't remember that one. I wasn't, he, wasn't he overly happy with that one myself, to be honest. Um, could have managed that a little better. But I felt <laughs> even at 2-0, we managed the game fairly well, cut of decisions, but I'm probably looking for the perfect performance. That's not you're never going to get that. Um, so I thought the lads managed the game fairly well. Delighted for Big Eye or the back three and Shamal obviously because they've went now and they've, that's a two 0 victory, got a clean sheet. And I think for me, the three points is really really important, but getting that clean sheet is just as important. We're now in another kind of international break um, before visiting uh, Kilmarnock. What, the boys get a bit of time off now to yeah. rest, recover, family time. And I try and say to the boys like, if they want to go out and they want to have a night out as a group or that. And they don't really do it, if I'm honest. I think football's changed massively. I'll try and they'll go out tonight. I don't even think they've got a night out, but I'll give them the Saturday, um, the Saturday night to go out. I give them Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. And the boys that are within the body fat tolerances, they'll get Wednesday off also. We'll come back in Thursday, Friday, we've got a bounce game, closed door bounce game at Hibs Training Centre and then we're back into a, a normal working week the following week. But I'm not overly keen on giving them time off at the back end and then that weekend and you're maybe drinking five, six, seven days before um, before a game. So if the boys want to go out, they want to have a drink, they want to go out for a meal with their partners, glass of wine, whatever it is they want to do, they can do that and there's still a lot of recovery time in between. So they will get a wee bit of time off. Some of the injured boys will be in because they've got a bit of catch up to do. And we're in a good place actually because there's nobody coming in over the schedules days off that have got high body fat. So everybody's well within the tolerances, which is really nice to see. And it is come on, I've seen a couple of, couple of Saturdays time. Um, you've also got a wee bit of time to prep and get ready for it. What's your kind of initial thoughts going into that one? It's really a difficult game, eh? I think there's a huge difference in the team this year from last year. You've now seen Derek probably got his own players in the building now. I think he inherited a vast majority of the squad. It was maybe Tommy Wright's squad at the time and on longer term contracts. So I now think you're seeing a Derek McInnes team. And I'm, I've been pretty vocal on that. I think Derek's one of the best managers in Scotland. I think he's a top, top manager. So, ultimately, that's going to lead to a very difficult game of football at Kilmarnock. So, we'll go there with a game plan that we think we can nullify Kilmarnock's threat, but also with a game plan that we feel that we can get something from the game. Um, Big Luigi's away in international duty, Moe's away in international duty again. So, probably, fingers crossed that the two of them came, come back uh, with no injury problems. No worries. Thanks for your time. Enjoy your, enjoy your night. Thank Hi. you.